Hello, Tiddlywinks fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sans 3 Minutes Max. Uh, in the last episode, we talked about busting passwords, and we determined that uh, we want a password that is strong enough to not be susceptible to any other attack other than a brute force attack. Remember, given enough time, a brute force attack will always be uh, successful. We just want to make sure that that amount of time is long enough that we're going to be dead before it ever uh, happens. So brute force attack is what we want. Now let's look at what kind of a password we need to survive a brute force attack. We all come from an environment where uh, we're told you got to use a minimum of eight characters in your password. and It's going to be uppercase and lowercase and digits and special characters characters and all of this magical stuff to make our password uh, bulletproof. Well, let's look at what that complexity looks like. We're going to go to the GRC website. Uh, and the first thing I want to say is when people tell you to use a password like that, you hate it because you're never going to remember that password anyway. And then they're going to make you change it in a few days. So let's look at how strong a password like that actually is. Uppercase, lowercase, digit, special character, and another uppercase and another lowercase and a special character and a digit. So we've got our eight characters as you can see here. How strong is it? Well, it is really strong with an online attack, somebody busting away in a browser. But an offline attack, if I can steal the password database, I'm going to bust it in a little over 18 hours using a localized tool and maybe GPU processors to crack away at 100 billion guesses per second. Or I'm going to rent time on the Amazon grid and I'm going to bust it in 1.12 minutes. So, so much for your complex eight character password. Size matters. Now, let's look at what else we can do. We said we don't want it to be able to be guessed. How about if we go something like this? Horse, duckling, uh, pig. This is never going to show up anywhere in a word list any well, it might now because I typed it in, but we're 16 characters. We want a minimum of 15 characters to defeat silliness like NTLM uh, uh, password cracking. But we got 16 characters. Easy to remember, even in the fastest scenario, 10,000 centuries. I'm good with that. You can have my password if you can bust it in 10,000 centuries. This is easy to remember. You're going to remember this tomorrow. Pass phrase, not password. Oh, they're still mandating you got to put a number after it? There you go. Now you're up to 10 million centuries. That's good enough for me. Pass phrase. Take unrelated words, string them together. If you know another language, make one of those words a different language. Something that's easy to remember. If you do this and enterprises start getting smart, you'll never ever have to change your password again. So, in the meantime and in between time, that's it. Another secure episode of 3 Minutes Max.